In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to organize your inbox within Outlook on the web using folders. Now, on the left hand side here, you'll see we have the folder pane, which if you want to minimize, you can minimize using this button here that will allow you to hide it and bring it back up. Now, generally speaking, your folder pane will have a folders group and then a groups group. I'm not going to concentrate on groups in this particular tutorial. We're going to concentrate on folders. Now these folders here are given to you by default within your Outlook account. So you're not actually able to do anything with these folders other than store emails in them. So for example, if we right click on any of these folders, you'll see that we cannot um, rename them, we cannot delete them. If I go to this one here, for example, you'll see we have some options, but largely they are grayed out. So these folders here, every user of Outlook has these same folders and they cannot be changed. You cannot change the order of them. You cannot delete them. You cannot rename them. But the first thing we might want to do is we might want to create our own new folder. So let's say, for example, one of these folders doesn't quite suit our needs. How do we create a new folder? Well, what we do is we use this create new folder button at the bottom of the folder list. What that will do is it will create a folder at the same level as these existing folders in terms of hierarchy. So if I click on create new folder, then for this one, I might choose to name it 2024, for example. Now we can either press the enter key or return, or we can click on save and that will save that folder like this. So we now have this new folder. If we click on it, you'll see we don't have any content in it. So it's empty. It does sometimes look like there's an email in a folder, but this is because of the adverts that are displayed on this free Hotmail or Outlook account. So if I go back up to inbox here, let's create another new folder. Now, if I wanted to create one at the same level again as these here, I would still use the create new folder option. So let's say, for example, we want to make one for 2025. We can do that just now. So you'll see here we have two folders. Now, historically with Outlook, you were able to click and drag folders to move their ordering around. That doesn't quite work like that, certainly in this current version, and it's a little bit clunky. So once you've created your folders, you may have to stick with the ordering unless you want to try and move them, but you'll probably run into issues if you try to do so. You can, however, mark them as favorites and reorder your favorites, which I'll show you in just a second. So we've got these folders here, but if you want to create a subfolder, how do you do that? Well, what you do is you locate the folder that you want to create the subfolder within, and then you simply right click and you use the create new subfolder option. What that will do is it will indent the folder slightly and create it within this folder here. So if I call this one admin, for example, and then click save, you will see that under inbox will have this admin folder. Now it might just take a little second for this new folder to appear. What I can also do in this case is just refresh and the folder should appear in just a little second. If it doesn't, then we'll simply right click and we'll create this one once again, just to see if it appears, which it has. Now that we've got this folder here, you'll notice that next to inbox, we have a down pointing chevron so we can expand or collapse this folder. So you'll see here, this lets you know that it has some subfolders. If I wanted to create another subfolder within here, but at the same level as the admin folder, then again, I would right click on inbox, choose create new subfolder, and I would give this one a name. So I'm going to call this one tasks. And then once again, I'm going to click on save. So you'll see we now have two subfolders to inbox. If you want to then create a subfolder within one of these folders, it's the same process as before. So we'll simply right click on admin, let's go create new subfolder, and let's call this to on 2024 admin tasks, and then we'll click save. And then you'll see that we now have the chevron next to admin, which we can expand, and we now have another folder. So that's how you can create new folders and how you can change the hierarchy of them. If we have created this folder here though, and we want this to actually sit at the same level as these ones, how do we move it back? Well, what you do is you simply right click and then choose move. So once you go into the move settings, this allows you to choose where you want to move that folder to. So we could move 2024 admin tasks to the tasks folder if you like. So let's try that and click move. And then what will happen is it will then move into this tasks folder here. Now again, if we can't see it, 
we can refresh and see if it reappears. But as I said, moving folders right now seems to just be a little bit clunky, but you'll see the folder has appeared under the correct folder. The other thing we can do is we can right click and choose move. And then if we want it to go to the main top level, the same level as all of these folders here, you simply choose folders at the top, then choose move, and it will remove it from that particular folder that it was residing in. And it's now got it here, which is at the same level as all of these folders. Now that we have created a new folder, let's look at how to rename a folder. For any of the folders that you have created, you can simply right click and then choose rename. But as well as right clicking, you can also go to the three dots, a little ellipsis, and you can choose rename from here. So instead of tasks, I might want to call this one events, for example. And let's save. And we've now renamed that folder. But note, if you try to do it on this, you can't because you cannot move or rename these default folders. Next, let's take a look at how you can create favorites. So over time, if you are creating lots and lots of folders and they have subfolders and many subfolders within those, then it might take you quite a while to dig down to the folder you're looking for. And if it's one you use quite often, you might want to mark it as a favorite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inbox, which is one that I use frequently, and I'm going to right click and choose add to favorites. What will now happen is you'll see I've got this little favorites group at the top and we can add some other folders. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to deleted items. Let's add that as favorites. And then let's pretend that this admin tasks folder, let's pretend it lives in events. So let's quickly move it into the events folder. And then rather than me having to every time want to access this folder, open the inbox group, open the events group and access it. If I'm using it quite frequently, I'm going to instead add this one as a favorites. What I can then do is I can minimize the folder group and then you'll see I just have my favorites here. Now earlier I mentioned you're not able to move folders around in terms of their position in the hierarchy and certainly not with these in this current version. But if you mark it as a favorite, then what you can do is you can right click and you'll see you now have these options to move up or down the list. Obviously, if your folder that you're currently looking to move is at the bottom of the list, you won't be able to move it down. But if I want to move 2024 admin tasks up to the top, I then choose move up the list. And then if I want it to jump above inbox, I can either go to inbox and choose move down the list or go to that folder and move it up. And you'll see we now have that positioned at the top. From here, you'll notice when you click on any of these folders, you can actually see a star appear at the top. And this is another way that you can mark a folder as a favorite. So if I go down to sent items, for example, I can mark sent items as a folder favorite, and then you'll see it adds it to the favorites group. At this point, if we want to remove any of these folders, there are two different ways you can do it. You can either click on the folder and then choose remove from favorites by deselecting the star at the top. So we'll do that for those two. And if you want to, you can also right click and then choose remove from favorites, which will pull it out from the favorites and back into folders. Now it never actually leaves the folders. You're essentially just creating a shortcut, if you like, to that folder from within this favorites group. The final thing I want to show you now is how to move your emails into those folders. We have the emails listed here. And if I want to move one single email, all I need to do is select it and then simply drag it across. And you'll see we can drop it into that group. So this group, this folder here, now has that email residing inside. If you wanted to move more than one email, let's say for example, this one, this one, and this one, you can use the check options here to select multiple emails. And then up here where it says move, you can move it to the folder. And if you've recently moved a file to a folder or an email to a folder, that folder will actually be listed up here. So we can simply tap on this one and it will move those emails into that folder. In addition to that, you can also right click on any email and then simply use the move option here. Now, if you're looking to move this to a folder that doesn't yet exist, then what you need to do is go create new folder and then it'll ask you to give it a name. So I'm going to create this new folder in here called 2023. I'll save this. And then what's going to happen there is it's going to create that folder for me and it's going to move that email into that new folder. 
Now, once again, if there is any issue with it not appearing, just give it a quick refresh and we should see that 2023 folder appear in the folders list with that email inside that folder. So you'll see here we've now got 2023 and if the email hasn't yet appeared, then we may just have to go in and move that across. So let's just go to move, search for our 2023 folder, choose that folder, and then you'll see that email has jumped in. So we've now got it in there. If you want to move the email out of the folder, it's just a case of dragging it wherever you want it to then go.